Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. So today I'm gonna to go over with you guys some new pieces that I got from Hourglass and the new mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. As always, we jump right into the swatches, head into the review, and then end with this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. Let's jump in. So there we go. Now let's do the review on what I think of these products, pro, con, and a little information. I'm gonna start off with the Hourglass at Night collection. All right, so first product we're gonna go ahead and get into is the At Night Ambient Light Blush. All of these are a cult favorite. There are several different types of this ambient light blush. So this one is, of course, I'll give you a little information. It has the ambient light powder mixed with these modern hues to create a dimensional, soft focus, seamless blush powder effect onto the skin. I find that it's beautiful with handling texture and kind of minimizing any kind of pores or dehydration. It just blends seamlessly onto the skin. So this is definitely a pro for me and I love how it all kind of goes together in one collection. So love this. So next we have the ultra thin refillable lipstick in the color Into the Night. And this has won the Best Beauty Award from Allure in 2018. These pack a punch of color. This is a very pigmented little lipstick. And what I love is you just pop these off and a new refillable lipstick goes on here so that you are not causing any waste, which I absolutely love. I would consider this an elevated lipstick in the fact that it doesn't have any of the junk in it. So no phthalates, no parabens, no mineral oils, cruelty-free, and it definitely is high pigmented. Now, that said, the bullet in here is very small for the price but it is really saturated. So what you get as far as the quality and the color payoff is really intense, but for the price and how much you get, it's a bit steep. You, it's like, ooh. Now you're also paying for beautiful packaging and it is a luxury brand. So the packaging is stunning. The color pigmentation is awesome. I love that it is clean. I love that it is cruelty free. I love that it is um, a refillable, but it is a bit steep in price for the quantity you get. So that's obviously a preference for you guys, but I'm very happy with the color payoff and I absolutely think it is a beautiful piece of makeup. It, I love when these kind of um, concepts feel like you know, has like a jewelry quality to it. It's just beautiful to pull out. Reminds me a bit of a stiletto on a heel. <laughs> so this is a pro for me, even though it's a bit steep in price. Next we have Into the Night Lip Treatment Oil. It's an anti-aging lip oil. This has essential oils and vitamins to help create a beautiful finish as well as help with anti-aging. Now, I really love this color payoff and I really love the consistency, but oh my goodness, this is a really unpleasant application experience. Really cool concept. You open it, you pump here, product comes out here. Now, when you go to put it on, it's a, it's a mess. It just, you do one pump and it just oozes out. On top of that, the color is 
so oily that I wouldn't even have done these in a color is what I'm trying to say. I would have just kept this in a clear treatment to put on at night or to put on during the day for just to kind of be like a glossy hydrating lip oil treatment. But because it has the color in it, when you go to put it on, it goes up into the edges and goops around the mouth. So you have to I tried to take my finger because this just kept making it more of a mess. So I tried to do half a pump and it still didn't help the situation. This was such a cool idea, but it just is more interesting in theory than in actuality. Not to mention when I got it, I thought it was broken because no exaggeration for probably three to five minutes, I was pumping this over and over and over and over again. I was so determined to get this product out because I wanted to see the collection in in its, in its full glory. I don't think very many people are gonna wanna sit and pump this for three to five minutes, considering that it's a luxury product that's $48. That's my thoughts. This unfortunately is a pass. All right, let's go ahead and get into the mascara. Next, we're gonna go over the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. So this has microcrystalline wax to have a weightless lift to the lashes. It has keratin to help condition the lashes and it has a large tree to help hold the lashes up, which is a polymer that actually will help to hold the shape of the lash once you put the mascara on. The color is extra black and it is smudge proof, sweat proof, and it says that it does not need an eyelash curler. Now let's get into the brush itself. So the brush is flat here and when you turn it, it is domed with bristles that go this way. It is not fibered, it is little plastic edges that go around to create a diamond shape. It is called load and lift with the lash brush here. So you load the color onto here, which is a flat paddle that has a bunch of basically the product on it. And then right here, it has the grooves to help give uh, the volume and the length and the definition onto the lashes. As you saw in the tutorial, I did two coats of mascara here and I did one coat of mascara here. That side I love, this side not so much. So it says it has the crystalline waxes and the larch tree. So the larch tree is supposed to give you that lift and hold and those crystalline natural waxes are supposed to be light and weightless. Not so much. <laughs> so I loaded it like it says to do with the product that, that sits in the middle. I loaded the mascara or the product onto the lash and then I turned the brush and did the definition and separation and the length. When I did this side, it was just too heavy. That feels like the, the waxes were too heavy. When I did this side though, and just used the edge or the bristled brush side and just went through lightly, it was really, really pretty. I love how soft the finish is on this. It is holding up. Love this with one coat not so much with the load part. So I wouldn't do the load and lift if you have more small, just a lot of fine lashes. I would just do this side and it's really beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. If you've already got it or if you're thinking about getting it, I'm sure it's gonna work wonders for some people. It just was in the good category, not the great category for me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video. Let's go ahead now and do this tutorial. Bye.